Okay, YouTubers, anti-nuke activists. And I gotta give cred to Took the Red Pill off of E&E &E News for this particular catch, this particular find. Let's have a look at the NHK, the TEPCO video, recent video of November 6, 2013, showing them getting ready to extract the fuel rods from Unit 4. And as I've said before and shown evidence from the NRC FOIA documents, that totally contradicts this official story that they're going to be able to retrieve this fuel, even though they're saying it's difficult. The evidence in the documents indicates there was a, a melt on the floor and the fuel was extremely damaged. So this is this is probably likely a bit of smoke and mirrors, if you will. Let's look at this video. I'm going to pause it on the crane and I'm going to pause it on the condition of the water in the pool. What you want to note, you want to observe the crane and you want to observe the crystal clear condition of the water in the pool. Let's have a look. I've got it muted so I can point out what's going on as it goes through. Okay, here's the workers, Unit 4. We're led to believe. Look at the crane. Now notice there's no markings on this crane. And look at the position of the crane relative to the other structure. I'll back up. Look at that clear water. Look at the condition of that fuel. Okay, now let me try and back up. Bear with me just a second. As we go through this. Okay, there we are again. I'm going to pause it on the right there. Now I paused it here also because you notice this crane. Look at the height of the crane in position to the uh, main control box is what I'll call it here. It looks like a control booth when you look at it in these TEPCO pictures we're about to look at. Now note on this crane there's no markings or nothing of identifying marks on the crane itself and this control box in this unit appears to be on the same track right here, correct? Okay, now, also the water is nice and crystal clear. We know they pump salt water in there, so that's in dispute as well. Now let's have a look at the TEPCO. Well, hang on just a second, folks. All right, there it is. And I want to just center screen this thing so you can, as best you can, have a look at it through my flip cam here. And I'm going to provide the actual pictures in high definition, as I always do. You can pause on those and take a look for yourself. Now, you can examine this picture, and you will note that the crane has markings, 100-5-100 Hitachi on this particular crane. Here's that smaller control booth box thing that was in the edge of the other picture right there. And note that it's indeed on a much a lower level. And this is a much higher level right here on which this upper crane actually sits. So again, we have disparity in the height of the cranes and identifying uh, markings on the crane itself. So if you, again, if you take it on face value what the government and the authorities say, Hey, that's always different than what you find if you really dig around. And I've been presenting evidence for, well, since February of 2012 that contradicts a lot of the official story. So to took the red pill on e, &E News right here, took the red pill, uh, I appreciate this bit of information. And, and I'll also give you a link to this particular thread so you can read what they're talking about in here. The whole vid is fake, he says. Smoke and mirrors. You know, good catch, someone's telling them when you look at this stuff. It says they often show workers hanging around the spent fuel pool like it's a poolside barbecue party, right? <laughs> I mean, it's not it's impossible, you know? And then down here, uh, we've got a comment that says 200 millisieverts. If you listen to the video, that's what they say the workers are being subjected to. 200 MSV, I believe that's millisieverts, means the workers are going to become poisoned and will be in desperation while removing this depleted fuel. So the official story and the reality is nothing even close, you know, and I've been, all these people that talk about spent fuel pool four and what's going to go on there and what have you, the, the, the common um, the tie that they all have, the common tie they all have is they will not talk about the NRC for you documents. They won't report on them. They won't dig into them. And that's exactly what myself and a handful of people have done. Shazam and myself have really dug into these things and been able to present an alternate 
um, viewpoint, an alternate bit of information that you guys can compare and contrast. And if you want to believe the establishment, official, mainstream, and all these alternative outlets that won't talk about the FOIA documents, they won't talk about Plumegate, and they'll tell you that if you know something goes wrong at Spent Fuel Pool 4, we're all going to die. We're all going to die, right? This is really a common thread. I'm hoping you guys are beginning. Look, this is Fukushima. It sucks that so many are going to die. But folks, don't waste this chance to be able to discern and see the illusion for what it really is right now. They're having to lie. They're doing psyops. They have propaganda out. This shows all their controlled media. It shows all the controlled opposition. It reveals everything. That's the, that's the thing about Plumegate. We can't waste it. It reveals the extent of the conspiracy, the extent of their media control. It reveals the truth about nuclear power. It shows who's involved in the massive cover-up, Elliot Brenner, uh, so on and so forth. There's a, gosh, it's multiple agencies. It's huge. So, again, when you look at this NHK video, back to what we're talking about, look at the video, look at the crystalline water, look at their crane without the markings on it. It's the same levels. This is a whole other building. <laughs> You know what? I will be vindicated before it's all over, right? Okay, I'll provide all the links, and you guys can look at this too. And hey, maybe we're missing something. I don't know. And you know what? Let me let me finally say this. I wish and I pray that it didn't happen like the documents say. I, I wish that was so. I really do. But I'm I'm through being delusional and and you know just not facing the facts as they really are. It is what it is, and that what they say. It is what it is. You know. So I, I wish it wasn't so. But all indication in the document is this is smoke and mirrors. This is propaganda. This is a, a massive psyop they're pulling with the aid of controlled opposition, a bunch of alternative media that's in their control. You guys can't deny that anymore. You can no longer deny their level of media control. Full spectrum. Type Plumegate on YouTube and look who's talking about it. There's a handful of people, but all the big ones with thousands of subscribers, they've been silent, totally silent. Look on Facebook and see who all you know that knows about it's been talking about it. Or much less the radiation leaking into the Pacific and that TEPCO's been dumping since day one. Most people don't know these things. It's just not been revealed to them. So, all right, that's all I had to say. Um, that's it. Patrick Penry, over and out. A study just published by the United States government reports the discovery that low-dose radiation is so safe, evacuations from future nuclear disasters may be unnecessary. If another event like Fukushima occurs, the public could be allowed to live in the fallout zones, spared from the inconvenience of relocation and compensation for damages. Excuse me, is that on your video? Yeah. Sorry. I'll probably put music over it. Eh. Go ahead and shoot it.